Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to test for items in your offhand in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you like manga videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. And so in this video I'll be showing you some examples of how you can test for an item being in the player's offhand. If you want to know how to test for an item being in the player's main hand or just the one that they are holding at that moment then I have have made a video on that link to it will be in the top right of your screen so you can watch that instead but in this video we'll be focusing on the offhand and so to show off how this works we will flick this lever and we'll see nothing happens that is entirely expected however once we put this shield into our offhand slot over here and then we press this lever we will see that we get five cooked beef so this means that this command block checked if i had a shield in my offhand and if i did then it would give me five cooked beef so how does this work let's get into this command so this is just a basic command block impulse unconditional needs redstone and the command it has here is a gif command to give the player five cooked beef in this case the nearest player at p however we have a special condition that this player needs to meet before we give them the five cooked beef so only if the nearest player has item that is this part over here equal to item shield and then the location so in this case we set the location to slot dot weapon dot offhand and so this means that once the nearest player has the shield in their offhand we're allowed to give them cooked beef if the command block is activated and so this is the way to check if a player has a shield in their offhand you can of course change the item here to any other item you can hold in your offhand the Minecraft Berk Edition. If you don't know what those items are, I have made a video on that, link to it will be in the top right of your screen. And so if you want to use these commands for yourself, you can type them into your own version. However, make sure you use the right brackets everywhere. We have some square brackets on the end, but also some curly brackets here. I'll also put these commands in the description down below so you can see exactly what kind of brackets you need to use and how to write down the commands. Make sure they're exactly the same as I write them down. And they are here. If that is not the case, then the command will most likely not work. And so that's the first thing you should check. If your command is not working, just check if you have all the brackets correct and all the commas and dots and all those kinds of punctuations. But all right, let's move on to our next examples. So these set of command blocks can actually be used to turn normal arrows into harming arrows. And so if we grab some arrows, we have some here in our inventory, put them in our main bar. Now, if we put one of these arrows into our offhand, we will see nothing happens if we flick the lever. And once we put two in there, nothing will happen either. If we put all of them in there, nothing will happen once again. That is all what I intended it to do. And so once you put in exactly five normal arrows into the offhand slot and activate these command blocks like this, those five arrows will turn into arrows of harming. So as you can see, we have five arrows of harming and we lost five arrows as well. So we can see that if we put these back into our full stack, as you can see, there are five arrows missing and we have five arrows of harming. So how this works is similar to the last command. And so this time we can use a gif command and we set the has item in this case to arrows. But now we also specify the data type. So the data type of normal arrows is zero. So we set the data to zero here. This means that it will not work if you put any other type of arrow in there. It has to be regular arrows. Then again, we specify the location, slot, weapon, offhand. And now we also specify the quantity. So we set the quantity to five. So this command will only work once you have five of the arrows in your offhand. And once that is the case, we give the player five arrows. In this case, with data type 25, which corresponds to the harming two tipped arrows. And so this way we give the player the five tipped arrows. However, we also want to remove the normal arrows from their inventory again then as well. And so the way we do that is by using the second command. There's just a repeater in between. And this is almost exactly the same command, except for this time we use a clear command instead of a gif command. And so what we do is we clear five normal arrows with the data type zero, as we specify here at the end. And we do that for the player that has five of those normal arrows in their offhand. And so that is what this command does over here so let's just move on to our third example this is a quite nice example i think because it allows you to for example disallow the use of totems of undying in your offhand since normally of course you can put the totem of undying in your offhand just like that and then keep it there forever until you die or you're about to die and then it uses it and saves your life but maybe you're working on a map and you don't want the player to just have the totem of undying there in the offhand the entire time you want to actually be able to switch to the totem of undying while they're for example falling or almost dying to save themselves 
Now that is possible here with these two command blocks over here. So if we activate this command block, we will see that the Totem on Dying immediately gets switched into our inventory. And if we now try to put it back into our offense slot over here by clicking it in there, no, that will not work. We can shift click it in there. No, it also won't work. It will just keep sending it back into our inventory every single time. It will spam the chat a bit with you have been given Totem of Undying, but I don't think there's much we can do about that in better condition, sadly. If you do get more spam though, you can also set the game rule command block output to false to get rid of the other type of spam. That is possible. So let's take a look at these two command blocks. So the first one is a repeat command block that is unconditional and set to needs redstone, where we activate it using the lever, of course. And so this will give the player that has a totem on dying in their offhand a totem of undying. So this just basically means that once you put the totem of undying into your offhand, you get a new totem of undying into your inventory. It will always go into your inventory and not to your offhand because there's already an item there. And then the next command block here is a chain command block set to conditional and always active. And this command is a replace item command. So what we do is replace an item for the entity at P that has the totem of dying in their offhand. And we replace the item in their offhand with air. This just basically means we remove the totem of dying from their offhand. And since we already gave them a totem of undying before, it doesn't get rid of the totem at all. And again, as I said, all these commands will be in the description down below. So you can get them from there as well. And of course, you can change the item here from totem of undying to whatever you want, a filled map or a nautilus shell, such that you can't put those into your offhand. But I think the totem is a nice one because it makes it an extra challenge to survive if you're about to die. All right, and then the final example I have over here, you've already seen in the thumbnail it is to get a title command and a subtitle command running when you have 32 arrows in your offhand so let's grab a stack of 32 arrows we're actually doing 31 to see that that doesn't work so we have 31 arrows in our inventory let's activate a command nothing happens but once we add a one more to our pile of arrows in the offhand and activate the command block there we go in your offhand there are 32 arrows so that is quite nice you can detect the amount of items the player has in their offhand as well as we saw before already but here we see it again so we see that we use the title command here to display a title or actually a subtitle here to a player that has 32 arrows in their offhand and the text we display here is a subtitle there are 32 arrows with some different colors for the different parts of the command using these paragraph signs if you want to know more about these types of customizations with the title command i'll leave a link to the tutorial where i show off how to use the title command in my better condition in the top right of your screen and so apart from this title command from the first command block we have a repeater running into a second command block that will display the actual title instead of the subtitle and so the command is very very similar the only thing we change is subtitle to title here and then the text of the title itself that is the only thing we change and so here we use the paragraph c to get a nice red text in your offhand and so even though we display the subtitle before the title it is pretty much not noticeable when you activate the command they show up at almost exactly the same time and all right there we go that is how to test for items in the player's offhand in minecraft barrack edition if you have any more questions about this then please leave them in the comments down below and i or other people will try to help you out with all of your issues as I mentioned before, the commands are also given in the description down below and make sure you write them down correctly with the right brackets and punctuation so that that is not the mistake you're making. Furthermore, I recommend being in the latest version of Minecraft Perk Edition because the has item part has only been added recently. But I think it's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, this Mikkelaar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.